Hi, and welcome to the Loopy Language Challenge of the Making Web Pages Interactive course on Khan Academy, uh, where we learn about jQuery and HTML and JavaScript. So let's get started with this challenge. What are they asking us to do? They want us to translate the paragraphs, and it says, this web page is about Pig Latin, a fun language. You'll use jQuery to translate each of the paragraphs to Pig Latin. Using either a for loop or the each method, find each paragraph, send its text through the, pig, the to pig Latin function, and set the paragraph to that text. Okay, so here we go. We have our start of our code, and we have this um, these paragraphs, which are in normal English. Cool. And then we have this script tag, and it's saying... Uh, get the jQuery script um, library, okay, and then we have our actual script tag, uh, and it says takes a string and returns pig Latin version of it. All right, so they wrote this function for us already. Honestly, I don't really get this function, but I don't think we need to for this challenge. Um, I guess we're saying replace some of the strings. Um, with these different letters and this A at the end and changing them to lowercase. Something like that. I'm not super familiar with the, with what they're doing here, but luckily they already did it for us, so we're good. All right, so this is where we jump in. It says, iterate through each paragraph, call the pig Latin, call the to pig Latin function on it. All right, and they already gave us this paragraphs jQuery um, variable and it has each paragraph in it. Okay, so now let's start with a for loop since that is what I'm most familiar with. It says we can either use the for loop or the each method. So for, let's start with that. Um, all right, so let's initialize our for loop, oops, with variable i gets zero, and then while i is less than the length of paragraphs, Dot length, which is now we're treating it like an array. Um, then we're going to say i plus plus, so increase i by one each time we go through this loop. Cool. And then we have our brackets. All right, so inside of our for loop, what are we going to say? So we want to uh, store each one of the uh, items in our array in an element. So I'm going to say element gets paragraphs i. Okay, so it's c. So I'm saying each ith element, each ith item in this paragraphs array, and I'm using bracket notations to show that, um, that is our element. Oh, I need that to be a variable. Cool. But we have an issue because this variable is a DOM element, and we are about to call jQuery methods on it. So just like she did in the last video, uh, just like Pamela did, we have to change this to jQuery. So right now it is a DOM element and we need it to be a jQuery um, object. So hopefully I said that right. <laughs> so variable paragraph gets, oops, and we need, I need to put a dollar sign to indicate that this is a jQuery um, object. Okay, so variable paragraph gets, and then we change element to jQuery with using the dollar sign in these parentheses. All right, so now this element should be um, jQuery, and it's stored in this uh, jQuery, or we can access it through this jQuery uh, object paragraph. And now we can... Um, go and send our paragraph.txt to our to pig Latin function and um, set the paragraph to that text. So what we want to do is we want to take this paragraph, this these paragraphs in each one which is stored in this element or this paragraph um, jQuery um, object, send it through to this to pig Latin function and then set the paragraph to that text. So we're going to update all of this to be pig Latin. So we'll start with um, paragraph.text. Now 
so this is the this is the line that gave me trouble because I find that I get tripped up when things are repeated um, just confusing um, but apparently this dot text is not like the HTML inner HTML or um, te text content like we would see in regular JavaScript those are properties this is actually a function and that's something I don't think I entirely understand <laughs> so if you understand it and you want to talk about it please comment down in the code uh, I've read about it and uh, yeah I'm not quite sure I understand it but I think if we keep going maybe something will click for me eventually okay so we have paragraph.txt and then we're gonna set that to um, this paragraph.txt which we send through to the pig latin function so we're going to say to pig latin and then what do we want to send through we want to send the paragraph.txt <laughs> um, and we're going to leave the parentheses of this function empty because basically we're just calling the we just want to grab this text um, we don't want to change it so that's why we have this these parentheses after this dot text with nothing in them. However, here we do want to change this dot text. So that's why we have something in these parentheses. So we're saying, okay, get this paragraph dot text, send it to the pig Latin function, and then set it to paragraph dot text. Um, cool. All right, so. That's it. We we pass this um, we pass the, this challenge and uh, Hopper has said, con said congratulations. My brain kind of feels like mush. mush. I'm still trying to process what exactly happened here, <laughs> so maybe that's why I'm going a little slow in this video. But uh, hopefully you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.